Do you not like when I slurp like that? I hate when you slurp. You know what's interesting about hot beverages? They are really fucking hot. They are like so incredibly hot. Mm -hmm. And then a minute later. Ice cold. They are extremely cold. I know. Shouldn't there be a little bit a little bit of a life of a, of the of warm? How does something nothing when you when you want to eat something mm. like a like a burrito, something that's really fucking hot in the middle yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I'm starving. Mm -hmm. It feels like it takes 48 I know. two to three business days for it to get a, to a temperature that I can enjoy. But when I'm trying to drink my coffee and I like when it's hot, that's it. Here's ice cold. You're right. There's, there's ice daggers. There's no in between. So it's either you have something cold mm -hmm. or you burn your mouth off. Mm -hmm. I made soup two nights ago, a couple nights ago, whatever, whenever Love it was. It. Yeah, sure, matter. You, yeah, sure. You've been cooking this week, sure. <laughs> I did make a nice soup, did I not? <laughs> it was a good soup. It was all right. So it was actually fucking delicious. You I took it. I'm sorry. I made it seem like it wasn't. A, it was fucking phenomenal. Okay, and it, it, but that's besides the point. You um you dug into it first, and then I started to, and you were like, "It's way too hot. You're gonna have to wait." wait. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I had to because I knew. I know. If I don't have it right now, that's right. And I wait for it to get that's warm. Right. It's gonna be cold, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna miss the opportunity. It's cold. So I just had to. I had to burn my face off. I said it's really. I you saw me go like, <laughs> yeah. And then you did it, and you were like, I, I, I had to do it. What is it? That, that's very interesting. Something about like fucking burning hot food. You just you. Ha I I gotta have it. I gotta have it when it's fucking burning, and it doesn't make any sense. Food is its best at burning hot temperature. Why? It's just I don't know the. It, it's releasing all the flavors. I don't know. But like like you're it, you ever have pizza that burns the fuck out of your mouth it's so good i just keep i you i have to it's like, <laughs> you're eating it like that with your mouth open i know and i it's, know uh it's it's a very interesting thing it's very rare that you get really hot food though mm. don't you think uh, i feel at like a, at a restaurant yeah at no. a, when you go to a restaurant you are able to dig into that food right away it's never that hot that's probably your, there's probably a reason for that though i i, I think you're supposed to have it like a temperature you can Eat it. Eat it. Ed. Maybe. Maybe they're worried about lawsuits like the McDonald's grandma. Was she a grandma? Did you, did, did you watch the documentary with me? I think I did. People like make fun of her. It burned through her skin. Yeah. It yeah. was like there's a temperature gauge on McDonald's coffee. This was like 80 Kelvin higher than that. <laughs> Is Kelvin hot? I don't even know. I don't know. But as you know, mm -hmm. I worked in a diner. We've, we've heard about that. I've worked in restaurants. Mm. And here's why I think your food isn't that hot is because it doesn't come out right away. That's first things first. Definitely Second not. thing second. Um, there is no bigger culprit. I don't know if that's the right term. Okay. Than old people when it comes to <laughs> returning their food because it's not hot enough. Really? Yeah. You, if you have an old person I, I, ordering a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee, <laughs> a cup of coffee, a they have four of them. That cup of coffee, they want it to burn their leg off. Old people, I've noticed, yeah, they, they need their coffee to be able to go through a table. Yeah, yes, that's yeah. true. Otherwise, you're going back into that kitchen mm -hmm. and you're making a fresh pot. And I've made yeah. fresh pots for whatever reason, the device. Doesn't make it that cold that the machinery doesn't. I mean, the device, the machinery. What is it? An LG chocolate? <laughs> doesn't make it that um, hot. Mm -hmm. I've made fresh cups of coffee. I bring them out and they're like, this still isn't hot enough. So let me teach you a nice trick. Okay, teach me. You put hot water in a mug. Oh my God. You let the hot water sit in the mug. Get out of town. You empty out the hot water. You put the coffee in it. You got a nice hot mug. Makes the coffee a little bit hotter and they're good to go. I last week I made us coffee. I don't know if you remember this. I put our mugs in the microwave. You did that trick. I couldn't even take them out. They were so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even. I couldn't even pour the coffee in there. You did that trick though. They were really fucking. That hot. was good. Anyway, you know, enough about that. Anyway, let's. Sorry. Why don't we? Why don't you explain this outfit? Because um, I don't really know what's going on. It's not okay. Thanksgiving. So um, I hope everybody enjoyed Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, we're we're recording this before Halloween, and I thought we could do the whole thing where we dress up like a pirate and a fucking pirate's whore right which would be me <laughs> um but then it's like you know halloween's kind of over at that point it's mm -hmm. like we should have we should have dressed up for last week's episode to be in the spirit and you're then right. and then and then this is this is a protest what you're witnessing is a protest 
This is a physical. Fix your tie a little bit. What's wrong with it? It's not straight. There you go. There this, you go. This is a physical. It's um, a protest. This is a, this is this is. A, I'm taking a stance, as to remember the month of November to remember something called Thanksgiving, which I'm not a big fan of. I've always thought Thanksgiving sucked because it doesn't really doesn't go with who I am as, as a person. Yeah, there's nothing really great about it. Who likes turkey? I like turkey. But the, the whole point of this outfit, I'm going to wear this the whole month of November until it gets to be the correct time to decorate for Christmas. Okay. Because as I've said last week, and it uh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Okay? It's pretty bad. I can't believe they're, they're coming for Halloween. I never thought... They would come for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving is a no-brand. Yeah, fuck. Who gives a fuck? Here's a fucking turkey. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> but Halloween, we're going to... The, the, How dare the you? The Christmas decor is going to be up in Target and CVS next year in July. Mm-hmm. And it's a little too... So I'm, this is, I'm taking a stance. I'm celebrating that in between Christmas and Halloween, what, what we as kids used to call the fall. We called it to duck in. We didn't call it turducken. That's like a new thing. That's um, a new thing. We, we, and it we, sounds disgusting. We called it leaves and, and, and hope and dreams. March of the Wooden Soldiers on television. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. And this is just to show people out there that stop rushing life and let's, you know, let's remember. And the, I understand if you hate the pilgrims, if you hate Christopher Columbus, if that's what – I'm, I'm not going to argue with you there. Just it's about slowing things down. And you know what? Do you what? What now? The 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 tie looks ridiculous. Where? Wait, Fix it. Who cares? Oh, if it's behind down there. Gu- guys, this is my this guys, is this honey, is what darling, I have to deal. Sugar. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. If I don't tell you something's wrong, mm. then I get ripped a new asshole. Correct. After the podcast. Correct. So I gotta interrupt. And then I also rip you an asshole. Exactly. So what am I supposed to do? How do I win? We call that a lose lose in the biz. Exactly. So <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate it. But I, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna keep fucking. You know, I know. Whatever. The pumpkin pie. Me. I mean, you, uh, this has pies on it. I know. It's got pumpkin pie. We so what happened was um, that video I made, I think I'm going to upload it again. So mm-hmm. if you see a repeat. It's a great video. Fuck you guys. I have more followers now and I'm still trying to get, uh, you know, still trying to get uh, some sort of notoriety. <laughs> so um, I said in that video, I was like, they don't make a Thanksgiving suit. I wrote, mm-hmm. I am Thanksgiving. And then the company sent me a Thanksgiving suit. And it's I know that a suit. I know we're far away from Thanksgiving, but let's just take a break. Yeah. Let's not go from jack-o'-lanterns to fucking, you know, uh, chestnuts. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a break. Let's relax. Enjoy the time because we're all going to perish. And that's it. it, it, Here's the unfortunate truth is that you got- Give it to me. October, Halloween, November, Thanksgiving, December, Christmas. It's back to- I mean, we got- January 11th, Eric D'Alessandro's birthday. We got 12 months a year- why didn't they space it out a little bit? Because this is the problem. You wait till Thanksgiving's over to celebrate celebrate Christmas. You only got four weeks, not even, to That's celebrate. That's what makes it special, honey. I guess, but it goes Doesn't it seem so strange? fast. Doesn't it seem strange to see fucking uh, Tinkerbell dressed as a fucking uh, nutcracker in July? Isn't that weird? What what, huh? what, what, are you, <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm so confused. Whatever, whatever character we saw talking yesterday with fucking, you know, dressed as Scrooge, seeing Mickey on someone's fucking lawn uh-huh. dressed as Scrooge, and, and you know, um, uh, give me some other Christmas characters. I don't want to see Elf on the Shelf in fucking March. You know, like, it's, it's, that's what makes it special. It's, yeah. So here's here's what it is. It's 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 not even for the kids. It's for the adults because time 100%. time goes so fast. Time goes by. Nice, good song. So slowly for adults. Yes. That the, if the four weeks isn't enough. The three you're the ruining, three weeks. It's not enough. I think you're ruining it for your kids. I think you're ruining it for your children. You think? Because when you're a kid, Advent when I when Catholic school Advent. It, I sometimes I feel like I'm still waiting for Christmas. That's how long it felt. Okay, the mm-hmm. four weeks. Holy fuck, the pink candle. Remember the pink candle? That was the third week, yeah. which meant it's really getting close. It's getting close, yeah. So when you're a child, it's going slow. Mm-hmm. You know, like December one, you're like, holy shit, here we go, folks. Mm-hmm. All systems blasting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why they're they're putting the stuff out earlier because the adults. 
they want it sooner. They want they want to be able to enjoy it. I I get it. I get longer. it. Longer. I understand. But when when you and I did that in in uh, in our L.A. apartment, we put up our Christmas tree really early because we went on that, we went to that trip to Aruba. Mm-hmm. So I was like, we're not really going to be here. Blah 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 blah. Shut mm-hmm. my dick. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I'm literally had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> so um, you know, we put it up and it felt it didn't. There is an intangible spirit you feel. Mm-hmm. It's called the Christmas spirit. Yeah, I've heard of it. And it's – you can't rush it. Mm-hmm. You can't force it. it That's has to, true. It has, so like when you when, – when, when you, you, you take out a pumpkin and you put a fucking, you know – why can't I think of something Christmas? A poinsettia. Santa. I know. He's a little – he's not – Santa Claus. <laughs> Rudolph. Papo Grigio. Mistletoe. Um, so – you know what I'm trying to say? It's like yeah. I, 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 as as I've gotten older, I realize how fast time is like this. Holy shit, months the and months. The clock is ticking. And that's why January feels like it's 20 fucking years because people are – all these months. And it's like just try and take one day at a time. But what are we going to do? You know, it's it, it goes by fast. I mean also, you know, when we – when when the time comes and the light is coming for us, we might think – Man, I really wish I would have celebrated Thanksgiving more. You know? Yeah. I you know, really wish I would have enjoyed the, wh- that that turkey. How I how I always thought Thanksgiving was, what how I always saw it besides being tortured and just like feeling like the grogginess and of just watching my uncles watch football and me just thinking like I don't know if I'm going to live this long. <laughs> <laughs> it was always like a nice reset before things got really crazy again. It was always like let's just chill. Let's let's get a fucking marker. Let's trace this hand. Let's make it say gobble, gobble, y'all. You know, I it's, will. It's, it's like a nice break. I will say a good thing about Thanksgiving, no pressure. No pressure. There's no pressure around Thanksgiving. Do whatever you want. You show up, you enjoy some food, yeah. that's it. You don't got to worry about a costume. You don't got to worry about mm. spending your life savings on gifts. That's right. You it's, tell them, Lee. It's just a very relaxing, throwaway holiday, which is we should appreciate yeah. We really should. I know. As a, Don't get me wrong. My whole life I fucking hated it because it was like just right. It was in the way. Mm-hmm. It was in the way of that of that December 25. <laughs> I'm trying to get to that 25. Yeah. And now as I get older, I'm like, yo, we're rushing through this shit too fast. Mm-hmm. Like I, I used to be – like my parents, my mom really, would she, we would get into things too late as a kid. Like I've, I've said before, we put up our tree – fucking december 18th mm-hmm. several years right like it's like that's not enough time with your tree mm-hmm. i do think the first of the month is fine mm-hmm. like start getting into, into into halloween october one celebrate the whole month celebrate thanksgiving the whole month celebrate christmas the whole month but like for me as a kid especially catholic school we wouldn't really start getting really into christmas until like the teens the mm-hmm. late teens and as you get older as you said as my beautiful wife just stated <laughs> It is it, – it happens very quickly. Mm-hmm. So it's like you do have to maybe um, enjoy it. But, you know, this, these are just distractions from the fact that we, we, are, we are all going to die. And so try to enjoy them. You know, if, if, it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's premature and that's the way you love your life, live your life. Okay? We're not going to tell you If what that's what makes you happy. Go ahead. Yeah. Break out the Christmas tree. Our neighbor has a tree up. You know, but people you do, think it's a Halloween tree. People do holiday trees Well, that's just that's just – like she might have. I am and whatever that is, I'm anti. She might okay? have ghosts and ghouls and goblins on it. Your and aunt, then, your aunt has one of those, and I fucking love your aunt. But I, I and I loved the tree. But we can't, we can't start doing that. We can't. No, I, I don't, don't want. I don't want I'm an not, Easter tree. Yeah. No. I don't want a fucking Valentine's Day tree. No, no, I'm not into all that. Speaking of mistletoe, what's going on with yours? What? What's going on with your toes? I got my spreaders. Don't in. think I didn't see. I that mean, I don't before. really look. Can you, if you guys look at the bottom of the screen, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to show you the bottom of my foot because it's probably disgusting. <laughs> it's probably um, gray. Wait, look. She it's looks probably gray. Th- those things are, look like you can you can grab some fucking fish with those. Yeah. So these, um, the footwear that we wear is very bad for our feet. I'm not too knowledgeable in the uh, in this topic. Look at those claws. But I Look at the spread on those things. Yeah, the, it, it, I mean if you just look at our shoes, you know, the toe area is usually very um, constrained, tight. Yeah. Narrow. Yeah. So it is actually making my feet go back to normal. 
these make my feet go back to normal. Yes. Like our oh, toes. Oh, your shoes are making your toes. Yeah. They're making them closer together. Making, I mean, they, they're, they're, they're not overlapping yet, but they can get there, which we don't want to happen. Um, so these are kind of just spreading them out. Like your shoes that you're wearing right now, very bad for the tootsies. I have really very narrow bad for the toes. feet though. Yeah, you have like rectangular There's something feet. wrong with my feet. I should get them checked They're out. They're like a perfect rectangle. It looks like a brick. There's no shape. Like if you hold a brick up, that's yeah. my foot. Yeah. There's no shape. Yeah. Um, probably why my balance is so shitty. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, women, wait, this is knowledgeable. We should tell women about this. Yeah, women's shoes are just obviously we're, like my wedding shoes. Not to bring on the wedding again. We get it. You got to get over it. <laughs> but I wore like pointed toe shoes, uh-huh. and my for twelve hours, maybe more, my toes were just crunched together all day. Yeah, like my, I mean, my feet hurt for like days. What after do they that. call? What do they call that when you have when your big toe starts going right? Or, or, you know, like, look, you look, your feet start, you ever see someone's feet and their big toe starts going towards the pinky toe? Yeah. Like, it starts hitchhiking that way. Plantar fasciitis? I don't know what that's called, but it's really bad and it's happening to a lot of us. Mm-hmm. You ever seen an old person where it looks like they, it looks like their toes are just taken off? Yeah. Uh, and and, and I mean, that could happen to a lot of people and mm-hmm. that's why, because we have, the footwear we wear is wrong mm-hmm. um, and it's, we're supposed to have... A splay? A nice splay. I have a so, pretty decent splay to begin with. Dancers have, you know, they wear those shoes. I used to be a dancer, so my shoes, I wore dance shoes so much. You know, my feet would just be crunched together, and I'm trying to work on it. So and it actually feels a, good. Uh, it, it hurts after a while, but it, like, feels good for your feet to be, like, spread. So you wear those for, like, what, a half hour a day, A half minutes? hour a day. I'll probably keep them on the whole podcast just because, you know, I don't want to take them off. It's probably gross. Yeah, but. it's kind of funny when they get put in. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So if you're, a, if you're a man or a woman out there, look into it. Look into it. Get a, I got them for, like, maybe 10 bucks on Amazon. And uh, they have other ones. Have you seen the one on TikTok or something? It looks like you, like... You, like, crank it. Yeah. Yeah, your big toes, like... Ah! <laughs> uh, but it's it's a very good uh, pre precautionary measure. Yes, to protect your feet. Mm-hmm. Your feet are very important. Uh, it it can lead to back problems. It can lead to right. joint pain. Mm-hmm. So it's really important to take care of them. I know some of you probably have parents with really bad feet, and it's it's uh it's serious. Plus, they look jacked up. You know, nobody wants to go to the pool with eagles claws. Yeah, you know. So yeah. maybe uh, take you want to see that. all five toes. Yeah, you know, so you don't maybe, want a toe to go missing onto maybe the take other. Take care of that. I, you know, I'm, maybe I'm doing it. So maybe handle the situation because I looked down at Leanna's feet one day and I was like, "Oh, this is this is a page one. This is a page one rewrite." <laughs> you know, your big toe is going over your second toe. Never happens. I swear, it was happening. It wasn't woman, going over. Want me to show pictures? No, no one. First of all, people are probably turning this off already. People hate feet. I think we've talked about this, but they hurt feet. That's it. They shut it off. But I know this is this is this is like a more of an, an anatomy situation. I don't mean to talk about corns or any of that shit. Oh, I'm talking about the anatomy of a human being. We, everyone has feet, and um, they are repulsive, <laughs> but they also are uh, very important to your overall health and how mm. you feel. Yeah. So um, Leanna did have her big toe was starting to go over. Her All right, toe. enough. She's angry that I'm. The, I noticed it, which is what happens usually when people do something wrong. They get mad at you for noticing the wrongdoing. They don't get mad at themselves for doing it. They get mad at you for noticing it. Stop <laughs> noticing that I beat my wife. Um. So I got a lot of notes here. A lot of things I wanted to talk about on the podcast. But looking down at my at my ball over here, I want to talk about our date night we had last night. Yeah. Um. There's a, there's a great bowling alley here in Washington, Texas. They might be nationwide. It might know. be a chain. So it's called Pin Stack. Mm-hmm. It's like a Dave and Buster's had sex with a bowling alley. You've, right. You've seen the type. It's kind of like a lucky strike, but this place has a rock climbing wall. They got gizmos, gadgets. <laughs> um, Laser tag, arcade it's fucking games. Aw- it's fucking awesome. They have good food. They got good drinks. It's, mm-hmm. it's great. So... I was... Uh, um, as a lot of you saw the old Coffee Time videos I used to do... On Instagram, uh, the, my favorite, our favorite bowling alley, or one of the only bowling alleys on Staten Island, Rab's Country Lanes. We've been going there our whole lives. Mm-hmm. I made some jokes about them. He sent me a bunch of shit. I have ten pins here. I have. They sent me a bowling ball. 
So I'm like, babe, let's go bowling tonight. We were just kind of doing nothing. Let's go. And for, 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 first of all, as, as people who've been sitting inside all day long, how great did it feel to get out and go do something? It felt great. Right? It's so nice. You got mad at me. I was getting dressed like I was going to the ball. You know, I was like, <laughs> I know. what should I wear? I mean, you were like, let's go bowling. And I'm like, all right, we, I jump up and then I'm waiting. Which never happened. An hour for you to get ready. Okay, that's, that's, it it's ridiculous. That is a, you know, honey, <laughs> let's talk about your great, uh, you know, exaggerations of the, of the day. <laughs> Definitely wasn't an hour. You've never waited for me ever. All right, whatever. Um, I was waiting for you, though. <laughs> so we go bowling. I bring a ball because mm-hmm. I got I was given this ball. And I'm like, I want to use the ball. Never used it. It was mm-hmm. over a year ago. He gave it to me. So I'm like, okay. Now the people in the bowling alley are going to think, oh, here comes a hot shot. This guy's legit. This guy brought his own ball. Yeah. He's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> and it was the worst night of my life. You know how they say, like, nothing but net? Oh, yeah. Nothing but gutters. They think he All was good. Night. Yeah. They thought All I was going to be nothing but strikes. I was nothing but fucking gutter balls. Yeah. And uh, a rare thing that I was like, first, I'm, I'm a pretty confident guy because I know who I am deep down. I know the, the good Lord will judge me on you know what matters most. <laughs> but I've never seen, like, I'm, this is not a, a dig at women, but traditionally the people that I hung out with, their girlfriends didn't care about bowling and the guys did. So the guy would always beat the girl at bowling. You don't got one of those girls, sweetheart. Leanna. Please. I was on the bowling team. Please. Uh, so she was – She we played like three games. You destroyed me every game. I mean I wouldn't say destroyed, but I beat you definitely. I can't – I couldn't get the – I couldn't get this ball to roll right. You know what I'm I thinking? I couldn't do it. You know what I'm thinking? The whole coffee time back and forth with Rab, it might be like a, a faulty ball. You think it's a sabotage? I think it's a sabotage. Are you kidding me? I, I've never seen more gutter balls in my life. There's got to be something wrong with the ball. Oh, my God. You're onto something. <laughs> Maybe oh it's God. like it's it's extra dense or not dense enough. Maybe it's got a counterweight going the opposite way. Yeah. I think he might sa- it might, it might be a sabotage. Wait, at one point, it did dribble. Is that bad? <laughs> so, oh, my God. I never thought of that. I mean, no. I'm, t- I'm totally kidding. That's a joke. I was just it, – that's funny. I thought that would be funny. I oh, think, so, I oh, think so- you just suck. <laughs> I think you just suck really bad. I was going to say, yeah, so you don't think I just fucking blow at bowling. No, you do. I mean, I suck at bowling. My, my top score isn't even past 200. I'm a horrible bowler. But so here's the thing. I, if anybody out there who like who likes to bowl, there's always that one person in your group that takes it too seriously. Yeah. There's always that like – you ever notice that? You go like – I don't know. When I was like 18, 19, <laughs> early 20s, I would feel like I, I would double date a lot with other friends and we'd all go bowling a lot. And there was always like someone's – boyfriend who shows up with like a wrist a wrist thing he's got his own shoes and it's like well, i thought it was just a friday night hanging out this guy's fucking uh, practicing for the pga uh is that even no what the hell's the bowling pga's one? golf <laughs> you loser i know what's the bowling one the pba i don't know the i have no the PBA idea calling? The, 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 i never the, got uh, there the, the professional bowling association hey don't pull me over i got a pba card so um i was trying to just i'm trying to learn how to do the curve you ever see when someone bowls and it does the hook? Yeah. All the pros do it. Mm-hmm. And my friends who are really good at bowling, they do it. So I was always a straight man, throwing the ball straight. Mm-hmm. Just straight. You know? I, I, you know, I get mm-hmm. a little, I get like, you know, a, a high, high 150s, 160s. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a high score. Yeah. So. I think that's your problem. What? I suck at bowling. You're not a pro. I'm so just, what are you trying to throw a curve for? Uh, well. My, that's how you, so, okay, here's the reason why I, 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 I didn't want to learn the curve for so long, because I knew it was going to take me years to do this. Mm. It's going to be years of bad games, trying to, getting, getting the feel for the, for the, for the alley, Mm -hmm. and I just couldn't make my adjustments last night. I couldn't do it. Yeah, no. Like, it would go, okay, okay, usually if it goes a little bit too, too much to the left, I go a little bit to the right. This was just, this fucking bull's got a mind of its own. (laughs) I think it's a sabotage job. (laughs) I think you. I think you're onto something, honey. But you know. Yeah, I don't know was, about that. It was. Uh, one of my dreams is to be with a man who's good at sports. No, one of my dreams for life, or like what I would imagine, is part of our perfect life, is us being in a bowling league. Oh my! God. On like a Tuesday, Thursday night. A mat, like, like me the, and you, like we pack our bags. We go to the. Yeah, we, we go we have, to the we alley. Have a babysitter. Yep. You know. 
we got to have someone on a team named Babs. Mm -hmm. You know, me and um, Duke. We got shirts. Yeah. I'll, we got cool I mean, shirts. Like, there's, like, the shirts that, like, nobody cares about. And you and I order, like, custom satin ones. Yeah. Like, like hey, guys. Too, and people are like, look at these guys. And, 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 like, oh, my God, they must be really good. <laughs> like, that's I, that's what I would do as a kid. Yeah. I would, like, try to dress. I would look like. So dress the part. A really good basketball player. Mm -hmm. And then my friend Steve would score all the points. Uh -huh. And I'd be like, well, I looked cute. And I was horrible. <laughs> It wasn't horrible, but I was not good. Mm -hmm. I was not like a star. Um, and that I could not agree more. Yeah. That seems like a dream come true. Yeah, it's like it's like the American dream, right? I know. Yeah. But you I and get your better. Hus, you go you go to the, you know. Yeah. You got the fall league, you got the spring league, oh my maybe God. switch up the teams. We have to join a bowling league. We, we I, I I've been wanting to, I but know. we can't. We're never in a place enough. We we're okay. That, that And I think do you do you have to be good? Or do they let um, anyone in? I don't think you have to be great. I mean, like, I no? think hopefully we'd get better. You're pretty fucking good, Leanna. Like, for, I don't mean to say for I a girl because even... I'm going to get in trouble because it's 2022. <sighs> but where we come from, I don't know many girls that are good at bowling. Of course there are some, but I, I, I mean, don't know any. The girl last night was asking me how I did that. I know. And I was, was like, I was so embarrassed because I'm usually better than that. I mean, and I, babe, I, you never beat me like that. You never beat me like that. No, never, never. I, I mean, couldn't. I, I was a new ball. I couldn't. <laughs> I mean, I am. I and I am. I am decent. I guess I am decent, but I, I, I could be better. When we go with girls that we know, they're getting fifties, sixties, maybe. You're breaking a hundred every time, babe. You're pretty good. Not a hundred. Let's relax. I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting close to a hundred. Sometimes I break a hundred, but I don't know. You broke hundred last night. Yeah, but it wasn't I was it wasn't fucking putting up 70s and I was like, I'm going to jump. I say, excuse me, uh, let, me get a, let me get a size nine and uh, is this place high enough for me to jump off uh, in my life? <laughs> it was a horrible time. Yeah. And I was so looking forward to it. And I was just, you know, I wanted to know if you were embarrassed that you're, is that something that women are insecure about? Were you like, oh my God, my husband is embarrassing me in front of everybody here? Not at all. I was too worried about my own game. Eh, I, I, I wasn't worried about you at all. I respect it. <laughs> and um, Not at all. Yeah, I just can't. I can never get good at bowling. I could just, I just, it, it, it doesn't happen for me. Um, but I, maybe, maybe I'll hire a, a coach. Or you something. should hire a coach. Also, I think in order to get good at something, you have to do it a lot. I know we don't do it a when, lot. When we were going bowling um, uh, consistently, I almost just spilled this on my laptop. When we were going bowling consistently, I was getting better. Yeah. When, when I go with Matt and he's coaching me, I'm getting really good. But mm. anyway, uh, I just thought that was a fun story because. I feel like there was Every something time. else we wanted to mention about the bowling. I know. I don't remember. That's probably why I was thinking why I brought it up. But um, I don't remember. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Uh, what else is going on? What are you going to say? No, something else that I wanted to bring up is, yeah. um, I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe it's too serious of a topic. The Kanye thing? Oh, no. What? We could talk about that too. But Giselle and Tom Brady finalizing their divorce. How long were they married for? 13 years. What's the point? Why can't – now, I don't mean to judge anyone's relationship, mm -hmm. but unless there's something incredibly nefarious going on, which he's beating her or cheating, mm -hmm. or whatever the fuck, we just went through a marriage, and you're supposed to weather the storm. Right. So what is going on? It seems to me like why not just – divorce is too – I'm not, saying, I'm not trying to say it's too glamorized, but it's like – I think people see it as an option too fast. Mm -hmm. 13 years is a long time with someone, but it's not, you know. Well, Come here's on. the thing. Here's what I will say. I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, but whatever. No. Here's the thing. What do I do? Do I be miserable for the rest of my life or is this my opportunity to be happy again? Well, why are you miserable? That's that's I think that's the biggest point. They have to figure out this why. Is, they got divorced. Um, what did she say? I divorced. No, they like they uh, they grew apart. Okay. They grew apart. How many kids do they have? Do you know? Three, maybe. I think it's because Tom Brady's making out with their kids. I think that's the problem. What does that mean, though? They grew, they grew apart. apart. I don't know. I don't I don't know. And that seems something that seems like something that you could probably work on. Absolutely. Grow back together. Yeah. Grow closer Get that together glue, again. Baby. Yeah. yeah. You know, go on dates, maybe do a little counseling. Like that seems like such Oh. I think ooh, is this true? I saw tweets and memes. 
about Giselle being like, it's me or football. And then the next scene was Tom Brady running out of the tunnel. <laughs> she said something. Like he was supposed to retire. She, I think she said something about how when he, when they moved to Tampa, he kind of became a different person. Ooh, Tampa Tom. Tampa Tom. Mm-hmm. When, that's, that's a funny thing, Tampa Tom. When you, what, what is that, alliteration, mm-hmm. right? Love a good alliteration. If you, so like, hmm. Tampa Tantrum If you Tom. were to go to, if you were to go to Ethiopia. Ethiopia Eric. You'd be Ethiopia Eric. I have the worst fucking Which name. means you, ha- like, you turn into a different person. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, uh, Colorado Keith. Colorado Keith. Mm-hmm. Our brother-in-law Keith. <laughs> When he was in Colorado, he was turning up. He was a different person. And he's a very like timid, mild, sweet man. Sometimes that just happens. So I think he, yeah, he became Tampa Tom, mm. and it wasn't maybe someone that Giselle liked that much, and that maybe maybe they already were growing apart, and this is this was like the icing on the cake. But I don't know. I just and and I you know I feel bad. I don't want to judge anyone because we don't know exactly what they were going through and. I it's hard for me to say, um, but the, the the whole growing apart thing, like you said, if 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 it's not anything so serious, abuse, whatever, um, I it just seems like something that could be fixed. It's very sad when 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 a, when the ending of a marriage happens and we act like little fucking pigeons eating like eating up the gossip. It's like this is this is this is a tragedy that happened. You're right. You I'm know? sorry. It has. It's. It, who am I to talk about their marriage? No, 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 no. I'm. I think. I'm, I'm saying like as a whole. Like like society loves the I mean, gossip about it. It's. It's just crazy. That number one, people discuss it like it's sports. This is someone's fucking life. These mm-hmm. children are gonna be affected by it, and uh, it's sad to think that uh, they couldn't work their way through this. Mm-hmm. But Tom Brady, man. It seems to me that she wanted him to stop playing football, and he just was like, "No," <laughs> which is like, uh, how much? How much more does the guy have to prove? Like, how much you have? I know. I, mean, I, lo- I look. I love comedy. Like, but imagine if I sold out MSG a hundred times. I had thirty fucking specials. I was almost a billionaire, and you were like, "Please stop touring," and I'm like, "I can't." Like, I don't. Th- I can't see that being me. Yeah. But maybe to him, that's what makes him a champion. Definitely. He has this, sick obsession Mm -hmm. with winning which Mm -hmm. you know we're benefit we as the uh, public are benefiting from but his personal life is you know suffering yeah i mean it's more important to him than his family really yeah i don't know i wanted to say this to you i wrote this down on my notes uh, maybe a month or two ago you and i were going somewhere you didn't you didn't see this interaction happening happening okay i witnessed it and i was just about to tell you and i said let me i'll bring it up on the podcast Mm -hmm. probably not even that interesting but in the moment it was this kid was probably 19 years old okay he walked on the plane goes to our stewardess and she gives him the little clean cleaning thing the wipe what if Mm -hmm. little sanitation wipe and he goes you have a beautiful smile Oh. And she goes, thank you. And then he was like, no problem. And he kept walking. So the interaction that I witnessed was not much happened. If you were there, you would think, why, why are you even talking about this? I would have noticed it. I course. definitely would have noticed it. But th- there, was, there was, okay. The first thought I had was me being in therapy, having dealt with, with therapy, mm-hmm. knowing what exposures are, I thought of... You never know someone's intention, so always try to be kind. So, yeah. Okay. So the first thing was like, uh, it was like it was like it was like it was like the scene paused, and it was this woman just I just want to do my job, Uh. and here's a fucking guy hitting on me, right? Okay. There's that. Uh huh. Then if you pause it, you like look a little. It's like a movie where you find out the ending, and like you start feeling bad for the guy instead Uh of the girl. So I was thinking like, here's this girl. She was a cute stewardess, and. This kid was a lot younger than her, and mm-hmm. he looked a little awkward. It looked like Aww. it looked like a big deal for him to say it to her. Wow! It, he didn't come across like, "Hey, honey, I like your fucking tits." <laughs> it didn't come across like that at all. Okay. It came across to me as if his therapist told him, "Go out and say something." Say nice. Say something to a woman. Okay. 
so like I was thinking you could perceive that moment so differently. Mm -hmm. It could be like this girl can't do one. She can't just li live her life without having a guy tell her you're fucking cute, honey. Right? Mm -hmm. You could look at it as like he's a predator animal piece of shit. Yeah. Or you could see it as this was a really big deal for this kid. And like maybe that was the hardest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. So her screaming at him, be like, I'm just trying to do my job, sir. <laughs> Imagine if she like got offended and oh he was thinking, god, oh my god, so this is why I don't sad. say anything to people. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that, right? I wish you would have saw it. And let me know. I like, wish I would have saw it. I wish. It, it looked like a really ballsy thing for a kid to say. Ask me what, what, you, what my first thought was. What was your first thought? Creep. There you go. That was my first there thought. There you go. For some reason, the smile... I don't know. It's weird. If you would have saw this kid, he was a machine, as we say. So then, then I would have felt bad, and I would have thought, "Oh my God, how sweet is he?" But just well, the thought story. Thought he was a creep. Just the story. I could. I mean, I couldn't really picture what he looked like. I couldn't picture what she looked like. But my first thought is creepy. And it wasn't creepy at all. Hmm. It looked. What does that say about me? You're the devil. <laughs> I think. No, I mean, but I here's think, the thing. I think my my whole the reason why I mention it, I think this could go to an interesting place. Is like we are living in a world where we see the bad in people. We always see the bad in people, mm. and like not everything. Just because a lot of things are bad, we need to get to a place where the separation is clear and respected, like. People will put that kid in the same category as Harvey Weinstein, mm -hmm. and that's just not right. It's just not right. You have to see the interaction, though, in order to be able to determine. I understand, that. but I'm saying like that's not the same thing. No, of course not. Like, I mean, yes, all men are not the same. I I wish you saw it, but it was too late. But it already happened. By the time I was going to tell you, it was already, it already happened. But he. It looked to me, I for some reason, there's a friend of mine, she has social anxiety, so her therapist will give her tasks to do. Mm. She will have to go into a, that kid Lincoln on TikTok. Yes. Spicy chicken casserole. Yes. That kid, mm -hmm. he has said, I'm doing exposure therapy. Mm -hmm. He'll go to a drive through he'll order something they don't have at Taco Bell. He'll be like, mm -hmm. hi, can I have a large uh, Barbie doll? Mm-hmm. And then he gets all nervous because they like make him and then he drives away. That's his therapy for the day. Okay. To me, it looked like that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm probably giving this kid too much, but to me, it's, it felt like that. And I was thinking like, this is so sad because someone's going to make this kid a villain. Yeah. And he's, and he's really a hero. That's sad. That's right? really sad. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I, I, as, as a woman, how do you feel about people complimenting you in, in, in such a way? It depends on what it is. It depends on what they say. Me witnessing it, it was really fucking innocent. And trust me, this kid is not the kind of kid who's swimming in pussy. If okay? You, it wasn't like, I like his smile. Yeah. It was like, you have a really beautiful smile. Like, but, it looked like it was a big deal for him to say. But I think if, if you would have changed what he said, so if he said, um, I really like your shirt, or I really like your eyes, I might have thought, I might have had a different reaction i wrote the kid on the plane telling the stewardess she had a beautiful smile for some reason the smile seems creepy to me i hmm. don't know why like i said if he if if you were like oh okay, this so kid came on the plane <laughs> and said to her i love your shoes i wouldn't have thought creep i love your toast spreaders i would have thought creep <laughs> <gasps> did we ever tell a story about some guy taking a picture of my ankle we might have. That was creepy. But anyway, um, also a plain thing. Okay, so here's another, here's another thing. Look at the word you're, you're selecting. Creep. Creep. What is creepy? And I've got, we, I, I, you and I bickered about this once. Yeah, because you told the girl of her nail polish or something. So, something. I said, you have yeah. nice nails. You're a fucking creep. It was like an 80 year old woman. Like, oh, I love your nails. They're so cute. You're like, yeah, what do you, what does that get you thick heart? <laughs> it was disgusting on your behalf. So, what about. That is creepy. Like, you think he's going to touch himself? Do you think he's going to fucking... I know. I don't know. I can't... I'm, I'm just telling you my honest initial reaction. Because strangers don't know, have a bad reputation. That's I don't know why. why I feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's, 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 it's not normal 
for people to compliment other people. Exactly. Which How is sad very is sad. Very sad. But that's the truth. So it, it seems like they want to get something out of it. Mm. Right? Something uh, sexual, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Like, why else would you compliment someone? It seems like you want to get something out of it. it was it's a, not just to feel good about yourself. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was a sad thing, though. But yeah. I, 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 uh, I don't know. It was like such a – was, it looked, I felt like I was witnessing something no one else saw. It also depends on how the person looks, too. How fucked up is that? That's messed up. How fucked up is that? That's messed Who's up. Who's the creep now, you fucking bitch? <laughs> huh? But it's true. Like, I'm trying to think of different – looking people josh dumel could walk on the plane and be like look at what you, what's going on here go like this to your tits and you'd be like oh my god <laughs> i'm so beautiful okay but if fucking you know uh michael sarah does it he's a creep so you're a hypocrite what how am i how am i a hypocrite what Because josh dumel's not a fucking creep but you know uh the guy who's like a cre- weird looking guy i know it's no, no disrespect sad. to michael sarah but you know i don't know he's like an awkward guy yeah <laughs> I don't know. I wish you would have seen it. I don't want to feel that way. But you're right. If Josh Jumel said that, I would drop my pants in a second. You have a beautiful smile. You'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, meet me in the bathroom. That's my wife, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so... I really wish I would have saw it. I, I know. Re- but and, you thought creep. But I want to change that because... And I've noticed that about myself where I've thought something about someone and I never tell them. And I think I've thought to myself, like, I should tell them. Like, I should say that out loud. This is creepy? No, no, no. Like, if I like a girl's dress or I like... I always comment If I people. like something about someone, a lot of the times I'll think it, but I won't say it. And then I'll think, like, I should have said that to them because that might have made them feel good. Why not give someone a smile? Yeah, yeah. Know? It feels so good to get a compliment. I know. And, like, why not, spread, why not spread some positivity? Mm-hmm. And you know what the worst part about that is? I'll, see, I'll give someone a compliment. I will say I love that. Mm-hmm. And then my bitch wife will call me a creep. And I think it's like the reason people get divorced. It's a, No, it depends. It depends on what it is. I think it depends on what it, If you were to tell a girl you love her sh- her sh- her outfit or whatever, I don't think that's creepy. When I asked that woman if, if I could said, smell her panties, that was creepy? <laughs> <laughs> but if you said to a girl, like, you have a beautiful smile, I would be like, she might, she might, I, I, I would never want her to be uncomfortable. That's okay. the only reason. I don't think I've, I, everyone thinks I'm gay. Everyone thinks I'm gay. So whenever I give someone a compliment, they just think this guy's gay. I never, I'm never like, yeah, shorty. <laughs> Let me see that ass. I'm always like, oh my God, I love that. I always come off as gay. True. So what are you talking about, honey? True. You're insecure. Maybe. You're insecure because I suck at bowling. I'm complimenting her heels. And you're like, this fucking, I got to get rid of this guy. <laughs> yeah, that could be. You know? Yeah. Another thing I wanted to bring up too, which, man, does this really explain me. My friend Joe is an electrician. So he is always in Manhattan. He's always on trains. He's always in the city. And he sent me a picture at 6 a.m. I was sleeping, but he sent me a picture of this guy. He was like probably another construction guy mm-hmm. in really good shape. He he had a, the, the, the gallon of water. looks like a milk carton, but it's full of water. Mm-hmm. Eating chicken and rice on a subway platform at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Gains, bro. And that made me realize why I'll never – why you're a, a loser? I'll, I will forever be a loser. But why I why I will never have that level of success in my body because to you me, can't be about that life. To me, it's not even worth it. It's like the risk is worth the reward and 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 what you get in return. It's like I'd rather be in hell <laughs> than than be eating chicken and rice at six o'clock in the morning. Now that guy is dedicated. He's responsible. He's doing what he has to do. I'm not good enough for that. I can't do that. You're not you you don't have the dedication. You're never that motivated. Like you'd want you want a six pack, right? My entire life. Would you ever do that in order to get a six pack? The answer is no, because you you've never done it. 
and then you'll blame me for dragging you down, which Pretty is always, which is always good. I mean, I could do chicken and rice for breakfast, no problem. I could do chicken and rice for every meal, no problem. You can't eat when you're not hungry. I can't eat when I'm not hungry. That's very difficult. It's also difficult for me to drink water. I have we a got, problem drinking water. We got a we got a personal trainer for like a month, and I realized I'm like, this is just a waste of time. I'm not listening to this guy. Yeah. Like he told us in order to for a lot of women get uh because we've been so terrible to to women in in society uh you guys look at the scale more mm-hmm. than you look at your body so you like the number is more important to you and it's a little bit of a paradox for some girls to understand in order to get the body of your dreams you have you actually have to eat more mm-hmm. you have to have a surplus of calories to gain muscle mm-hmm. and that'll tighten up your body and it'll make you'll burn your fat and all this stuff and almost even gain weight sometimes absolutely yeah 100% mm. so for you like i'm a loser but you're a loser too 1000% so like you're not waking up and having no. salmon at four in the morning. It's not worth as, as much as I would like a six pack. I like my life. I'm very happy. Yeah. Um, and that wouldn't. I don't know if that would make me happy. Like, a, a, it, it might lead to. It might result in me being very happy. But to go through all of that mm-hmm. to take months or even years of my life to get to that point. I don't know if it's worth it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's worth it. So like here's another thing that I I sort of push back a little bit. And this may maybe just me justifying what a fucking fat loser I am. <laughs> but Triple H. Mm-hmm. A wrestler in case anybody I don't I think anybody doesn't know who Triple H is. It'd be kind of hard to someone our age not to know who Triple H is, right? I mean I know I, I know I know I'm a wrestling guy, but No, I think I think you have to be about wrestling. Really? Yeah. All right, well, Triple I'm H taking is my, my toast bars out. I'm sorry. Ew! My feet are are getting cold. Look at them. I don't know if it's because they got they got some good splay here. Anyway, Triple H. Triple H. It, I remember being like when I was younger. They would show like his his uh, routine, his routine and shit. And here's where I I wonder, I wonder if you agree with people who are obsessed with that shit. Are not like not that not that they're born with it, but it's almost how do I what am I trying to say? It is their passion in life. It's not like, well, I want this, so I gotta do this. It's not that. Mm-hmm. It's I already really enjoy doing this. Yeah. I don't think it's like, well, I want a six pack, so I gotta do this. Mm-hmm. It's usually their entire personality, mm-hmm. their entire life. They really love yeah. the gym. They mm-hmm. love eating healthy, they love learning, they love and I think you have to possess that because you, you, when you and I were trying to meet those calorie uh, targets and trying to get, have the right amount of rice and, car- and whatever the fuck, we couldn't eat out at restaurants. Yeah. You can't eat out. No, you can't. So to me, it's like that is living. That is living. Absolutely. With, with people you love at a meal, laughing and discussing things. Mm-hmm. Like there's people, they bring a scale places to mm-hmm. weigh the chicken. It's like, it seems like you're in prison. Yeah. Or even like, I mean- it, it, the diet that we were on because we were counting calories and stuff, yeah. you can't eat out because you don't know mm-hmm. how they're making stuff or whatever. You could say, give me grilled chicken. Who knows what they're cooking it? Yeah. Whatever, all that stuff. But it's like, I'm going to have grilled chicken and broccoli like or like boiled chicken and broccoli when my friends are having burgers and fries and like all this fun. Like, how is that fun? I, I, I that, that That's what I'm saying. I don't think... People are honest about the fact that, like, it's it's like almost like being into vintage cars or being into Legos mm. or being into a niche thing. It's not that we all need to possess this and they're just more willing. It's that they're lucky that their passions coincide with an aesthetically pleasing physique. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like yeah. Triple H for fun has a timer on when to eat cashews. Mm-hmm. Like that's what he likes to do. Yeah. I don't think that it's like, they're not, there's no way that guy is eating that rice on that platform at 6 a.m. thinking like, oh my God, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I think he's loving it. Mm-hmm. He's looking forward to that rice. Yeah. Like he loves what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And I've noticed that it's really difficult to have a life outside of that. I feel like most, most like that guy, he's probably also like a personal trainer on the side. 
Like people who Definitely. are that dedicated to that lifestyle, mm-hmm. like you said, because they're so passionate about it, they are most likely like trainers too. Yeah. Like the the people who are doing all that, usually it's like a side job for them too. Oh, because they yeah, because like to try and or, yeah, or if, to I, maybe. I feel like there's not regular people who just eat that or aren't that dedicated to the gym, but also aren't personal trainers. I mean, I'm sure there uh, are, but it would it would be hard to find someone who like has a life outside of that. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to say like, oh, you have no life. I'm saying like that's what you lo- that's what gives you pleasure. Like you love to do that. Mm. So like me. My pleasure is comedy, spending time with you, and just a lot of hanging out. I'm like mm. a hanging out guy. So like my I'm always my brain's always like I, my my brain always goes to deep conversations because that's what I like to do. Mm-hmm. You'll notice that their their conversations will always go towards eating healthy and bodybuilding. Yeah, because that's what they're about. Mm-hmm. And I think um, I think for most people is is you can find a happy medium. That's kind of where you want to live. But like it's one of those things I think you can like unlock like a – oh. Once you discover that that intense lifestyle is not going to work for you at all, I think you can get to a happy place where like you're still eating really well. You're still working out. You're still liking how you look. Definitely. But you're not fucking counting calories and mm-hmm. like – because there's no way in hell people do that. Because it won't last. If you don't like it, it won't last. Of course. And I don't know. I, I just read a lot from that picture. And he was just laughing at it. I'm thinking like this guy is like Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. He definitely loves it. I don't think there's anything in my life I would love that much to wake up at really early parts. Or eat when I'm not hungry. Or like all this shit. Guys also who – and girls – like I watched like being a wrestling fan my whole life, I would notice that they they love gym. They just uh, they love going to the gym, and that's like what they do for fun. Mm-hmm. To me, it's like I just gotta get this out of the way. I gotta get mm-hmm. this out of the way. Yeah. And um, I think that's why I've never been able to like really embrace that mm-hmm. because I think that for most people, the, the the body you're seeing that your dream body, you have to accept that you're not gonna have that. You can have a nice version of it, but it won't be as strict because you're not willing to down this carton of egg whites. Mm-hmm. And then, I mean, like you said too, I, I think they just enjoy doing. Like they 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 look forward to going to the gym. Like yeah. they have fun at the gym. Whereas they got for, their friends there. You know? Yeah, like, for us, it's like all right, we we gotta go. We have to go, and we just gotta get this done. Yeah. I mean, once I'm at the gym, for the most part, I'm I'm chilling. I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. But it, it's the getting to. It's like it's like a kid in school. They oh don't want to go, but then once they're there, they're fine. Of you know. Course. Once I'm in the gym, that's it. Yeah. I, I got there. Yeah. That's it. That's I don't, the hardest like, part. I don't, yeah, that's that's the hardest part. Mm-hmm. Um, but you and I have tried. Uh, I, t- yeah, to me, we maybe maybe someone can give us a little like a, a tip or something because like. It sucks that we travel so much, but I can't get a groove going mm-hmm. with my workout routine. I never like the, the things I'm doing or it's or like the P90X is like too wild. Mm-hmm. Like that's just too insane. Mm-hmm. So like I'm always trying to find something we can do to stay Yeah. Healthy. I mean at this point in our lives, I mean I'm not going to let myself go, but – We hope not. <laughs> I – um, I've come to terms with the fact that I probably will never have a six pack, and that's fine. I want that for you, just because I wanted. To, I want you to believe you can. You can achieve it. And I do. I. I. Yeah. I. It's. I. I. It's a I, lot of diet. Though. I don't I think know. It's mostly diet. I don't know if I'll be. I'll ever be able to ch- achieve that. And I don't know I, if you'll ever want it that bad. To have to have chi- to have rice at six a.m. on a subway platform. Exactly. Will you ever be willing to do that for your six pack? No. And I don't think – I think the no. answer is – and the answer for me is no as well. I'd rather go out and have pasta with my friends and have right. a drink and have soda and, you know. And here I think I think an important distinction is what you just said is most people and people believe that, well, this person is willing to not have the pasta. I think, yes, obviously to some extent, but for the most part, they just don't want the pasta. Mm-hmm. They get off on – 
they like having the sweet potatoes well, also, and the steamed vegetables. It's You know what? It's not even that. Like, I don't even – it's – I don't know. Because um, we're not that bad with eating. We're really not. We don't no, go out the and the past two weeks has not really reflected our lives. No. It's been bad We're recently, pretty but. good as far as our diet goes. It, it it for us it really is more so going to the gym. Yeah, I go to the gym. I don't I don't ever want to do abs, arms. You know, show all that's so upper upper body. I Where's love that thing? to do. That, we have a roller. This I thing, hate doing abs. If I you get it. if you get this roller thing, I hate doing cardio. Well, and that's how you get abs. I don't know what to tell you. I know. Just fucking do it, honey. I'm saying no. I, I'm I, I. That's it. I've come to the term the terms that I will not ever have a six pack. <laughs> And that's okay. I think I I'll look back on my life and I I'll be okay. I won't I, I won't wish that I did have this. I don't think I will. I don't think anybody would. I don't think anybody would really care. Yeah. I think. Uh, well, I saw a great meme one time. That's it, it, it. This this meme was a little bit the other way too much, but it was like you know what's the point? You, we're all gonna end up like this anyway. And it was Arnold Schwarzenegger in like 1990, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger now. <laughs> And it was just like, he's old, but like, yeah. his body was sagging and shit. Mm. And um, yeah, I don't know. But that, that, that's, that's been like the great, you know. I look back at pictures of when we were doing P90X. I was just super skinny and shredded. I put yeah. no fucking weight on, which is like, I looked great, but I, I that I mean, that was, I mean, you were, you, you had a six pack. I, I, I still have shadows of it now. It's yeah. very easy for me to get it. I have a, I'm lucky with metabolism. I'm not that old yet. What takes you, like the time that it takes you to get a six pack versus the time it would take me is insane. I, I would get, mine would be protruding in a month. Less than. Probably less than. Two if, weeks. If I'm, eating, like. if, if I'm eating healthy, cut out the soda. Yeah. And we're working out. It's very easy for me. But that's, I'm, I'm still relatively young. Like it's gonna be harder, the, the, and the the more we get more comfortable with not working out, I'm gonna fall apart. Like I'm gonna fall apart. Like 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 down the like a, down a flight of stairs. When you take away my metabolism, I got nothing. This is a gift I was given. Mm-hmm. I don't earn this. I don't mm-hmm. deserve this. Mm-hmm. You That's, definitely don't deserve it. It's not like well, I just ha- I I I work. Really, I don't do anything to deserve this. I know. It's just I can have a lot of calories and they don't stay on me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm but. I would give all of that up to be able to sleep like you, I to be know. able to not have mental illness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we all got something, folks. We I hope do. you learned uh, something here on Dress Down Day. <laughs> and oh. ooh, we love you so much. Love you guys. Remember to just try and celebrate November. Celebrate November. Give someone a compliment. Yeah, give someone a compliment. As my mother used to say, do something nice for someone and don't tell anyone about it. Mm hmm. Give someone a compliment and don't tell your husband or wife, I just gave someone a compliment. Yeah. Just do it from the kindness of your heart. Mm -hmm. You know? I agree. And um, as Ellen would say, yell at this white staff for having their nail polish chipped. (laughs) And uh, we will see you next week. How the fuck are we going to record these next couple of podcasts? It's going to be a little over the place. We'll get it done. Don't worry. Okay. So we'll see you guys next week. Love you guys.